Actor Craig T. Nelson has had a long career in Hollywood, both in film and TV, but the role he's probably best remembered for is football coach Hayden T. Fox on the 90s ABC sitcom Coach. He won an Emmy for his work on the hit series and went on to star on two other long-running shows, the CBS cop drama The District and NBC's family tearjerker Parenthood. He still pops up in movies here and there, but for the most part, Nelson isn't as much of a screen fixture as he once was. Here's what he's been up to. Letting Go Nelson landed the part of patriarch Zeke Braverman on Parenthood right after he turned down a similar role on a more popular show, ABC's Modern Family. Nelson was offered the chance to play family patriarch Jay Pritchett, a role that went to Ed O'Neill. In an interview with Access Hollywood Live, Nelson said he liked the script and liked the people on Modern Family, but the producers didn't offer him the amount of money he felt he deserved. After six seasons, Parenthood left the air in 2015 with, spoiler alert, a pretty devastating finale. Zeke dies after a long battle with heart problems. Nelson wasn't happy about the way his character or the show went out, telling The Hollywood Reporter, I think the series should have gone on. I still don't know why it was pulled. He added that he never got on board with his character dying, although he thought the death was really dignified, nice, and emotional. Failed Revival in 2015, after Parenthood came to an end, NBC attempted to bring back ABC's Coach. The network was so confident that the Coach revival would work, in fact, it skipped the pilot phase and ordered the show straight to series set to star Nelson and several other original cast members. It's going to be a risk, you know, it's going to be fun, and that's what's so exciting about it, trying to make it work. The plot focused on Hayden Fox's adopted son, Tim, launching a football program at a prestigious college and enlisting his recently widowed father to help. But in August 2015, NBC canceled the project after only one episode was filmed in front of a studio audience, which was never released and has yet to be leaked. Promising Pilot It looked like Nelson had a big TV comeback in the works in 2017 when he was cast in the pilot for Raised by Wolves. The comedy had an impressive pedigree. Oscar-winning screenwriter Diablo Cody wrote the pilot based on a British series co-created by popular English humorist Caitlin Moran about a single mother raising five kids. This Is Us producer Greg Berlanti came on as an executive producer, and the cast included Georgia King of HBO's Vice Principals. ABC passed on the show, and producers tried to shop it around to cable networks, but there haven't been any takers yet. Charity Work while Nelson once famously weighed not paying income taxes to protest the welfare state. I've been on food stamps and welfare. Anybody help me out? No. He's given plenty of his time to organizations that help others get back on their feet. Nelson has worked with a drug and alcohol rehabilitation charity called the Drug Education Council and spoke at the organization's annual luncheon in 2017. In 2009, he mentioned on Hannity that he supports Dogs for Vets, a group that pairs shelter dogs with returning military personnel, as well as a group that grants scholarships to veterans' children. Extracurriculars the guy who played a coach in All the Right Moves in Coach doesn't stand on the sidelines in real life. Instead, he's an active golfer. In 2013, he told the Golf Content Network that he has a handicap of 8, which, as golfers know, means Nelson is pretty good, although he says, quote, the ability to maintain that number seems to come and go. His strengths are chipping and putting, which he says he'll practice for up to two hours a day. He's also a regular at celebrity-studded pro-am tournaments. Nelson also loves motorsports. In fact, in 1991, he went to auto racing school and soon after entered the Toyota Celebrity Long Beach Grand Prix, finishing in third place. At that point, Nelson said he was hooked. He started driving in the World Sports Car Series, also known as the International Motorsports Association, and told Motor Trend that it was tough to break into the sport and to be taken seriously. But Nelson proved he had the right stuff and was voted the racing organization's most improved driver, which he quipped was better than winning the Emmy. A Look Ahead Nelson has worked steadily since Coach ended in 1997, and it looks like he'll be busy in 2018. Nelson will join an all-star cast in the comedy Book Club about a group of women in their 60s whose lives get a jolt of excitement when their book club reads, and really gets into, Fifty Shades of Grey. Nelson's most famous gig, and the one that made the most money at the box office, involved only his voice. He was Bob Parr, aka Mr. Incredible in Disney Pixar's 2004 superhero movie The Incredibles, and a sequel is in the works, set to be released in June 2018. Plot details are scant, but director Brad Bird said that Bob has shifted gears to become a stay-at-home dad, living in a new house that's a cross between a dream house and a super lair. Brad has done such a good job on the story and John Walker, and it, it's like, it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.